Hey guys, Daniel James here, and today uh, we're going to be doing something a little different from normal. Um, I got an email this morning that none other than Junkie XL himself, Junkie XL himself, uh, has released a loop library on sounds.com, I believe it was. Um, so, I, you know, obviously, Junkie XL being the man of the moment, I had to go check it out for myself and see what it was all about. And I downloaded it, and it is just a bunch of loop, uh, you know, WAV files, uh, and they sound great. From from what they sound like, they sound like they're all from Mad Max. Uh, if you've ever seen any of Junkie XL Studio Time YouTube videos, you'll see he uh, in his original series he did uh, a video showing all his custom drum libraries, uh, you know, that he used on 300 and things like that. So anyway, I downloaded those, uh, and they come as WAV files. But I thought, what would be cool is if we were to put them into Project Chaos because the cool thing about Project Chaos is it's designed uh, to take loops and manipulate them, combine them together, and, you know, just have fun with them, basically. So I downloaded it, and uh, I've, I've just spent the past few minutes installing it into uh, Cubase. It took me like 10 minutes because the loops are not set of four bars, and if you know anything about Project Chaos, they need to be set of four bars before you import them. Anyway, imported them, and I set up the loop points so that they should be in time. Um, but anyway, if I just play a key, we have three layers of it here. No, four layers. So we got that going on and that currently is, uh, so that's, that's a little preset I made up and that's basically just using, uh, the different loop sex. So you get, con uh, construction loops, synth loops, drum loops, and one shots. Uh, they come in slightly wider folders than that. This is the, uh, if I can find it, this is the folder structure uh, right here. I apologize if there's spoilers on here or something. But anyway, uh, so you get construction kits, live bass loops, modular sounds, drones and one shots, uh, modular sound uh, drum loops and various one-offs. So like if I just skip through a couple of these, you know, you get some... Uh, you know, some meaty, meaty sounds, you know? But the thing that interested me the most, it uh, has these drum loops here. Which are fantastic loops. Uh, they're two pants, and you know I believe that they're the ones that were recorded specifically for 300. I could be wrong on that. I am not Tom Holkenborg, Holkenborg himself, wherever you pronounce it. Anyway, so I imported the loops, uh, and I started building some presets. So this here is just a... So this is a 30 loop. If I turn this up and then take the step sequencer off, this is based on this loop. So that's the loop as it originally was. Well, that, that is. Uh, so I threw a step sequencer on it. Uh, you know, I made like the sustain come down a bit so it's a bit more snappy, a little bit of release so it doesn't snap off quite so hard. And then what I'm using is the filter here in Project Chaos, the uh, just to give it a little click on top, so that's what the amount there is doing. So, what could be cool to do with this is actually take like an LFO and then do it on like the pan. And the cool thing is, again, with all Project Chaos things, we can, if we like that rhythm, just change the the sound by clicking the uh, the scroll through arrows on either side here, and we'll just set this one. And you know, we can try that one setup with different sounds. Uh, that's a one hop. I 
Like I could totally use that. Uh, and as you can see, because we're in chaos, we can put some delay or some reverb. You know what? I'm going to save that. I actually like that. That's we're going to call that. We're going to call that a uh, base clicker. So I'm just going to save that as a preset. So you see, that's the rhythm we're doing. And I wonder how close that is to the actual sound. So the actual sound was. So you see, that was just a one shot which is kind of cool sounding. I'm going to turn off the crush. Very bassy, you know, but the cool thing is we throw on that step sequencer using the filter. It's going to turn down the, uh, the velocity on the on the filter there. So velocity to filter means that, um, you know, the higher the step is, the more open the filter would be. That way you can get like some cool rhythmic things. I just realized you can't actually see the piano, which is the point of the camera back here. There we go, that's a little better. Anyway, so we've got that bass line. Anyway, we can keep scrolling through sounds. You know what? I'm going to save that too. <laughs> like drum hit rhythm. Because I like that. You know, because then we can bring in something else. Okay, I'm digging that. So now we can bring in maybe some synth loops. Just keep building this up. Whoa, easy, son. All right, let's put it on like some drum loops. Maybe a bit too much delay now. can even bring this onto construction kits, whatever we want. <laughs> Some of the loops are still a bit off. I'm tweaking still. What am I actually going to do with that? Because it's a cool thing on layer three. So I'm just going to come LFO two, slow this right down, bring down the amp of it. And we're going to, we're going to pitch layer three. Right, we're going to do it to layer two as well, but we're going to do it downwards. I wonder if we could put some drums over here. We need to. So you see, I'm just pushing one key right here.
So you can see the cool thing, the cool thing um, about this light, this junky XL library is it is his sound. So uh, be careful. I, I, again, it's on, I believe sounds.com is the name of the website. It's a subscription service, but there is a free trial, which I tried out. Um, I've tried out a few of their libraries, uh, you know, other than this, uh, but you know, whether or not it's for you is up to you. I, I am already subscribed to similar services which don't have a cap on how much you can download. So that's going to be a big decider for me, I think, in the end. But anyway, let's, uh, you know, now we've built a little patch. Let's just like reset this back and we'll go to... We'll go over to the construction kits. We'll turn off our step sequencer. We'll make this a bit. We'll solo it. Turn off that. Reset that. <laughs> now I've got to fix all the shit that I was trying out. Uh, I can hear panning. So these are the construction kits. I believe we're at the beginning, don't we? Yeah. So you got like some drum stuff. Some cool sound effecty thing. That's that's like triplet. Dub da 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 Like that. Uh you know we got some cool sound. And of course because I've loaded it in into uh, Project Chaos, I have the option should I so desire it to um, change pitch? Maybe not that high, but. Doesn't quite work with ones that are doing 30 seconds. Doesn't work at all when you do it with 16s. But anyway, it's nice to have nonetheless. But the other cool thing is we have menu mode. So you click menu mode and now every key is a different. So we can go. You know, some cool bass synths. The cool thing is, if I just slam my hand like, like so. Maybe move it around. Okay, bad example. It's holding down a whole bunch of things. Or. There's plenty of stuff. Like the thing I like about this library is once you get it into chaos, at least there's, it layers very well together with itself. So uh, I'm going to reread the license. I'm not sure how much of this we can use in our own compositions. It's for a, a sound library site. So I assume it's, it's uh, ready for commercial use, which is interesting considering they were recorded for, um, you know, Mad Max and stuff, which is exciting for me because it's always cool to have some, you know, some, Drum tone, famous drum, you know, famous tones. It's always fun to have them. So this is synth loops. Ones like this I like because they're the ones that are good. Like the sustainy ones are good at turning into rhythms like that. Oh. You know, some... I wonder if that one work. Man, you can get so that that's the thing with with um It's so the thing in general with Project Chaos is if you've got decent loops to put in it, it makes every loop library infinitely usable. Just, just 
to hand because there's a lot of modular type loops here. And again, I just change key and we have another rhythm. Although I really like that, so I'm going to turn off menu mode and keep that. Right, let's put on a different thing in the construction. Just build another preset with it. Okay, I like that. I'm going to call that suit up. Because that's what it sounds like, you know, like that scene when, when like people, are, you know, they go into their... <laughs> what would you call it? They go into like the armory and then and then all the guns going in, you know? I wonder if we can build on that even more. I mean, that kind of works, but I want more. I wonder if we can do like a, like a haze thing on this. Like a four step. That's kind of cool. It's kind of like a I like that as a rhythm. This is what the sound was. Which is cool. That's an awesome sound, but... And we can probably mix that a bit higher, actually. mud and then I wonder if we can make it sound different by changing this now that sound like by itself oh no not sync <laughs> that's what it sounded like originally and then you know preset suit up to the max suit up to the max that no, i don't know whatever that'll do they've all got like they've quite <laughs> all of these four patches have got quite similar vibes but they're things it's funny when i do sound design i'm always uh, i'm always building sounds for what i'm working on right now so this fits for what i'm working on but... But anyway, I just wanted to uh, give you guys a quick look at this Junky XL. What, what was it called in the end? They gave it a cool name. Um, it's like the... Uh, so I just wanted to show you guys what, what was it called. Blimey. It was called Desert 
dystopian. There's a there's a, <laughs> a low quality version of the image there. Maybe I'll put the the original. I'll tell you what. Actually, no, fuck it. That's good enough because that's the only version I have. Uh, anyway, I wanted to show you guys uh, that Junkie XL loop library because when the man of the hour um, releases something, you know, it's always worth checking out to see what what the... The good thing for me, at least, is when I listen to these loop libraries, I'm like, ha, huh, I see what you did with that sound, and I never thought to try that processing chain. You know, I never thought to try doing that kind of sound. But all the sounds in this library are instantly usable. Um, I only showed them in Project Chaos because uh, that's where that's where they're gonna sit for me. I, I I'm using less and less audio wave files these days, which is good, um, mostly because of Project Chaos because I can take like you know the loops that were there and then make them more. Uh, but anyway, so hope you guys enjoyed this short little video. Um, let me know what you think of a Junkie XL Desert Dystopian if you pick it up from I think Sounds.com. Um, let me know if this video was useful. If you want more of these little short, you know, short little insight videos on something cool that I've found, um, because that's, that's 100% what this is. I found something cool and I wanted it to, you know, I wanted to share it with you guys. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you're not already, make sure to like, subscribe, bell, all that kind of stuff YouTubers say these days. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.